Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Today I will explain you about AWS Machine Learning and the feature which we are using in AWS account. So we will discuss in detail about the basic concept of AWS Machine Learning offerings. I will show you how we will create it inside our AWS login credential and at the end I will provide you the advantage or feature of using this facility inside our AWS account. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's start with AWS Machine Learning. AWS offers the broadest and deepest set of machine learning services and supporting cloud infrastructure. Putting machine learning in the hands of every developers, data scientists and expert practitioner named a leader in Gartner's Cloud AI Developer Services Magic Quadrant, AWS is helping tens of thousands of customers accelerate their machine learning journey. Nowadays, Machine learning is very popular concept which we are using in every industry so that it will be helpful for doing our activity in day to day lives. AWS or Amazon Machine Learning is a service that allows us to develop predictive applications by using algorithms, mathematical models based on the user data. Amazon Machine Learning reads data through Amazon S3, Redshift, and RDS, then visualizes the data through the AWS Management Console and the Amazon Machine Learning API. These data can be imported or exported to other AWS services via S3 bucket. It uses industry and standard logistic regulations algorithm to generate models. What type of task performed by Amazon uh, Machine Learning Services is? There are three types of activity or task we can see that performed by Amazon Machine Learning. A binary classification model can predict one of the two possible results, either yes or no. A multi-class classification model can predict multiple conditions. For example, it can track a customer's online orders. Regression model results in an exact value. Regression model can predict the best selling price for a product or the number of units that will sell. So let's see how we create it inside our AWS account. So search from the services type just machine. You're able to see Amazon machine learning option is available here click on this so once you will click on this you will get two options here or the region selection option so who, whatever region is available for that service you can select it from here because i am doing the second or third time it is not showing here but when you will jump to first time it will ask for region selection there is a SageMaker facility is also available. I will cover in further part of AWS session. But let's focus on Amazon Machine Learning. When you will open this page, you are able to see their description. Click on Get Start. You are able to standard dashboard, standard setup and dashboard. Dashboard session. If you have ever created your ML services, that all services will be available inside the dashboard but when you are getting it the first time or the second time for standard setup just have to click on launch once we we'll click on the launch it will ask for your further details like s3 information so whenever we are creating machine learning there is a two options are available for creating inside it s3 and amazon Redshift. Either one of them you can select it. I am going further by using S3. But before continuing, we will need to have some data set so that it will perform checks. If you don't have anything, you can 
copy and pasted this links because Amazon has already provided some banking details. Performing ML services, you need to have some specific information or ML code should be available with you. Copy and paste this code. If you want to provide the data source name, definitely you can go ahead. Otherwise, keep it as black because this is optional. Click on verify. It will verify the activity and provide the valid validation rules. You will get this page. Click on continue. It will ask for your further details which we have to train or which we have to enter. If you want to change it any point of any discussion detail, you can do that. Otherwise, click on continue. It is asking for why as a target because we have not changed it is showing that's just 10 and uh, I cannot see any of the targets seen here loan month yes so Yes, is a target for this because we are using simple banking days. Choose Y as the target. Later, when you generate predictions, you will give another data set that does not have information predicted for you. We have selected binary attributes, meaning that so click on continue. If you want to provide the identify, you definitely go ahead. Otherwise, click on no. Review and click once. You will review and click on continue. It will create ML for you and that you can use it inside your bucket. But I am not going further here because I am not going to use it. So it's totally dependent on requirement you want to create it. If you want to create it, you can edit it at any point of time. So just like you can see here, edit option is available here. Schema source, you can. it's very much possible to edit it. Otherwise, keep it as it is because you are using for this. I am cancelling here. Let me give you some detail or some advantage of using the services. So, or you can see that the feature of. So, it's easy to create machine learning models. So, it is very much easy to create ML models from data stored in Amazon S3. Amazon Redshift, Amazon RDS and query this model for prediction by using Amazon ML APIs and wizards. Second is high performance. Amazon ML prediction API can be used further to generate billions of prediction for the applications. We can use them within interactive web, mobile or desktop application. Third is cost efficient. Pay only for what we use without any setup charges and no upfront commitments is required for these services. So this is all about Amazon Machine Learning. Let's recap this. We have started about the basic concept of Amazon app, Amazon Machine Learning. We had a look on S3 because S3 is very much required for creating this or either you have to provide your Amazon Redshift Retail so that you will create it. Then we have created one ML services here. And finally, we had to look on advantage part of Amazon Machine Learning. So this is all about Amazon Machine Learning. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.